Hello, all my fit friends, and welcome back to Wow Body Now. Today, we have a five by 10 body weight burnout workout. That means we are gonna do 50 reps of each exercise. It's gonna be super fun and challenging. Let's go get warmed up. Cheers, everyone. We're gonna sip and get warmed up. Hey, I thought the other day I forgot to turn on my mic, but it turns out there's something going on with my mic system, so I have to do another voiceover. I'm gonna figure that out, but we're not gonna let that hold us back. We're gonna go ahead and move forward. So, give me that lateral shuffle, step into a rear lunge or a side lunge. If you're not feeling very flexible, maybe you're just reaching for the inside of your knee instead of the floor, and that's okay. So I want you really light on your feet, just use the space you have. Give me a couple shuffles or more if you have the space and then just land in that nice side lunge. We're gonna do this for just a little bit more just for a total of 30 seconds. And then I want you to grab your mat. I did not grab my mat, but you're gonna need it. Get into your side plank right there and give me big arm circles. So the arm that's supporting your weight, I want you to make sure that your shoulder's tracking right over your wrist. I want you pushing your hips up away the floor, from the floor. So you have your hips, knees, and ankles stacked as you're working that shoulder around in a big circle. Beautiful, again, make sure your shoulder is aligned over your wrist. And here we go. Already time to switch to the other side. Again, you're stacking your shoulder over your wrist, stacking your hips, knees, and ankles, and then working that shoulder mobility, the range of motion in that shoulder, make a nice big circle going around. This is an awesome time to make sure you're staying really engaged. Pull your belly button in like if you're trying to get it to touch your spine. Give yourself a hug from the inside out. Okay, next we are gonna do a Superman variation. So you're gonna lay down on your stomach. I want you to have your arms and legs the width of the mat. So you can start by just alternating, picking one arm up, then the other, one leg, and the other leg. You can continue that way. If you want a little more, you can go ahead and lift both arms up at the same time, and then both legs up and alternate that way. If you want the most and you're ready for it, then you can just pick up both arms and legs together for a true Superman. We only have a couple more seconds left, but we just wanted to do this to wake up the posterior chain. Great, so go ahead and get on your back. We're gonna do glute bridges next. Just good old fashioned body weight glute bridges. Squeeze those cheeks as you push the hips up, right? Your tailbone gets tucked under slightly at the top and you aren't really worrying about a, how high you can get your hips, but how hard you can squeeze those cheeks, right? Picking up your arms like this makes it a little bit more challenging because it isolates the glutes even more. Okay, we are gonna finish with a hip hinge. Just like a good morning, but with your hands on your hips, you're gonna hinge forward and then kick your butt. Alternate which foot is kicking your butt each time. Great, I want you to keep those abs vacuumed out. Keep a nice, long, straight spine and torso. After this, we are all done warming up and we're gonna get into our first five by 10 circuit. Almost there. Okay, I forgot to bring my list of exercises in. I'm going to get that. You can sip your water, get psyched, get pumped and ready to go. All right, so I'm gonna take a sip of water and I'm gonna tell you what are our first three exercises. So each five by 10 circuit has three exercises. We're gonna start with a squat jump. So we're gonna do 10 squat jumps. For anybody who jumping isn't for you, you're gonna squat into a calf race. So you're just gonna pop up onto your balls of your feet at the top, right? Then we're gonna do commando Spider-Mans and finish with 10 jumping jacks. Nothing too crazy. We're not gonna take scheduled rest, right? We're gonna try to go one round right after the other. But that being said, if you're at home and you need an extra rest, that's the beauty of working out with me. You can pause it and give yourself an extra 30 to 60 seconds. Okay, again, this is the reminder, if jumping isn't for you, this is what you're doing. Squat into a calf raise. All right, ready? Get set, let's go. 10 of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Beautiful, grab your mat, 
beginners, you can do this from your knees or even elevate your arms up onto your couch or something like that. So here's the commando. Okay, you're gonna go down onto your forearms, back up onto your hands, and then the spider plank, you're driving the knee wide out towards the outside of your elbow. There you go, that was two. Keep going, keep going. Three. Four. Great. I want you to stay really engaged and tight through your entire body, right? I want you to avoid twisting too much. You're going to try to keep your hips as stable as you can. Having wider feet in that commando is going to help you be more stable there. But you definitely don't want to be loosey-goosey with it. Your body is stiff and you're trying really hard to, to minimize twisting through the torso. And I lost track. Oh, okay, good. There we go. And just 10 jacks. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so I'm going to put my check mark down so we don't lose track of our five rounds. Grab a quick sip of water and we're right back into it. All right, squat jumps or squat into calf raise. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Commando Superman. Woo! Guys, that right about this time, my heart rate was already up. I was already starting to feel sweat. Are you feeling the same way? <laughs> Just keep going. Here's one. Down onto your forearms, up onto your hands, wide knees. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Come on, give me four more. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Here's our jumping jacks right into it. One, two, big arms, wide feet. Almost there. Nine and ten. Good. I'm going to put the mark on again. I'm going to do the check mark. Round number two is done. Quick sip of water, and we're right back into those squat jumps, okay? Again, you can pause it if you need a little extra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's get down on the mat, guys. Whew. So again, you can make this easier by doing it from your knees or elevating your arms and hands up onto your couch or coffee table, okay? If all else fails, you rest in plank. And if that's too much, you stand up and you march in place. If we have true beginners who are just coming back to fitness after even a long break, or maybe this, you're just, this is your first effort at working out every day, it's okay to take extra breaks and it's okay to just at any time march in place. While I'm doing whatever exercise that's too much for you, you march in place, you just keep moving while I'm moving and then rest when we rest, got it? Just do your best. We're almost done here. There we go. Here's our jacks, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one round number three done two more of this first circuit grab a quick sip of water give yourself a couple nice deep breaths <sighs> slow down your breathing <sighs> all right i want you to have a killer mindset we're going to do these last two rounds it's going to be great ready go one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's do those commandos. All right, really strong. Have wider feet if you need to help stabilize so you're not twisting too much. This is, or not set, rep number two of this. Good. Three and three. Down 
up, knee, and four. Down, up, give me that knee, and five. Down, up, knee, six. Keep going, come on, just four more. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last rep there, beautiful, right up into our jacks. Come on, you got this, whoo! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Round number four is done. Just one more round of this circuit, and then we'll take a little extra break before we move on to round two. All right, mind over matter. Give me that killer mindset. Couple nice deep breaths here. Let's do it for 10, nine, land softly, seven, six, five, four, yes, three, two, and one. Last time we're gonna do these commandos, y'all. Let's come on, give me your best effort, even if it's modified from your knees or hands elevated, doesn't matter, just do your best. One down. Two, three, four, five. Come on, five more. Six, seven, eight. Nine. And 10. Okay, come on, let's do these jacks, then we get a nice longer break. Come on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome. So take this time to kind of walk around in your space, control your breathing, sip your water, have a little extra recovery here before we go on to circuit number two. Okay, sip, sip, sip that water. So for circuit number two, we're gonna do a double pulse side step squat, okay? You're gonna step to the side, give me two pulses, step to the center, step to the other side. Okay, so starting from the center, step wide, pulse, pulse, step to the center, and then on to the other side. Then we're gonna do 10 traditional push-ups. Modify as you need to, oh yeah. And then we're gonna do 10 per leg knee repeaters. Really quick, 10 on each side. Are you, good? you ready? You got it? You have a little bit more time. Sip your water, slow down your breathing. Get ready, cause we're gonna rock this next circuit. Five by 10. All right, so we're gonna get set up for this side step double pulse squat. Step wide, pulse, pulse, come to the center, other side, two, three, great, four. As you go down, drop the hips, but keep that chest up and open. This is seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great, we're gonna get ready for these push-ups. It's gonna be challenging after all those planks we just did. Just do your best. Again, modify as you need to. Go to the wall if you need to. Go to your knees if you need to. Here we go. One, keep your body nice and stiff. Try to get your elbows to bend to at least 90 degrees. I think we got five, four, three, two. Last one, fabulous work. Knee repeaters, 10 per side. With the knee repeaters, pull that belly button in. Hinge, sit low in that leg that's standing. Five, four, not five, four. We're doing 10 on this leg. <laughs> and a quick switch, get ready. Switch and go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic. First round is complete for this second circuit. Quick sip of water and get ready for those double pulse step out squats. Get ready. And let's go down, down, and up. Two, three, four, five, 
six, you got it, seven, eight, come all the way up every time in the middle, nine, and 10. Push-ups, guys. If all else fails, just rest and plank. Hold the plank the whole time I'm finishing up the sets, okay? There's nothing wrong with that if it gets to be too much, even with different modifying. This quadruped position could be a way to modify too, all right? You can go from all fours and push up. Okay, here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Bring it up, knee repeaters for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides. One, two, three, four. Stay low. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Round number two complete already. Oh, give me a couple deep breaths. Sip your water. Oh, how is your heart rate? I know mine is up there. Again, I'm sweating like crazy right here. <laughs> if you're sweating too, don't worry. We're in good company with each other. Here we go. Side step squat. Keep that at those abs in. All right, backing out that belly. Hold that engagement. Let's go. Two. Three. Four. Five. We're keeping a challenging pace. Five. Four, three, two, last one. All right, here's for those push-ups. All right, mind over matter. Strong thoughts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, I'm slowing down, but I'm not giving up. Eight. Nine and ten. Awesome work. Get ready for those knee repeaters. Right into it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and switch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Round three of five done, everybody. I'm gonna mark it off. We're gonna sip our water and we're gonna get right to it. That is unless you need an extra break, okay? You can always pause the video, give yourself a time, to time it like 30 to 60 seconds extra if you need it. We're gonna step out first, going to the, what was that? Going out to the left first, but it doesn't matter because we're into it. It doesn't matter where you started, just keep going here. Come on. Pulse, pulse, return to center. Pulse, pulse, return to center. Nice work. Push-ups, guys. <sighs> Get your mind right. Think about having really good form. Giving your best effort here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, fantastic work. Knee repeaters, everyone. Get ready. <laughs> Abs in, hinge forward, sit deep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Round four of five is done of this second circuit. Good work. Sip your water. Check your heart rate if you have your fitness tracker. Right? How high was yours? Is yours up into the 140s or higher? I hope so. You want this to be a cardio workout, a nice challenging one. So this is gonna be the last set. Best set of circuit two, right? Let's get ready. Stepping out to the right first. Down, down, and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, 
This is the last set of push-ups for the day, everybody. This is gonna make a total of 50 push-ups. Can you believe it? All right, so let's do this. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, fight for it. Four, three, you can do it. Come on, last two, last one. Yay, all done with the push-ups, but let's get into those knee repeaters. Come on, big breath, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, switch it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep that belly button in. Eight, nine, and 10. We finished circuit number two. We're gonna have a little bit of extra rest. And then we're heading into the final circuit of the day. Move around in your spot, slow down your breathing. Yes. All right, so we're gonna start with Crab sit-ups, okay? That's when you lay down, you sit all the way up, you push yourself up into the crab position, and then you're gonna go back nice and slow, okay? So crab sit-ups, then we're gonna do plank to bear. We're gonna start in a plank position, we're gonna hop our feet up into the bear position where your, our knees are bent but hovering. So hopping back and forth from plank to bear, and then we're gonna finish with lunge jumps. Oh yeah. If you wanna grab another sip of water, go ahead and do that. This is the final circuit of the day. Let's get ready to rock it. You're gonna want your mat for those crab sit-ups. All right, lay all the way down on your back. Knees are bent, feet are on the floor, about hip width apart, extend your arms overhead, but press your belly button into the mat. Sit up into that crab, thrust those hips, back nice and slow and controlled, right? As you go back down, round your back, think about going down in a controlled way. Don't just let yourself flop back down, right? You're actively fighting gravity to lower yourself back to the mat, nice and slow right there, good. Nice, so you're getting a little sneaky um, boot bridge action here too at the top. And then your triceps are getting it. So this is a triceps, glutes, and abs workout. All in one, keep it up. Couple more here. Nice and slow on the way down. Awesome. Go ahead and roll over into your plank. Okay, so you're in the plank. We're gonna hop the feet up and pause in the bear and then hop back. Two, three, four. Keep your hips low, don't let them rise up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. All right, lunge jumps. If jumping isn't good for you, you just do alternating rear lunges. You got it? All right, let's start with that right foot in front first. Get ready? Go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. First round done. I know you're breathing hard. I was breathing really hard here too. Sip your water, regulate that breathing a little bit. Let's get ready for those crab sit-ups. Take a second at the bottom to breathe, to pull your belly button in, vacuum out that belly. Keep that belly button pulling down and in. Press your lower back in the mat the whole time. All right, here we go. One, slow on the way down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Great work, 
roll it on over. Okay. Here we go. Plank to bear. Hold each position, the plank and the bear, for a good split second, right? You can walk your feet in and out if jumping's too much. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. Let's get ready for those lunge jumps. Abs in, chest up, get as low as you can without banging that knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Round two, complete. Two down, three more to go. With the tail end of this workout, you just take this little breaks in between to regulate that breathing, to check that mindset, make sure you're positive, make sure you're forging through with positive thoughts. Okay. Pull that belly button in, press your lower back into the mat there, breathe, inhale, exhale, back and out that belly, hold that engagement. Here we go. Sit up and then thrust up into that crab position. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one here. And 10, all the way up. Lower yourself down really slow and controlled. And go ahead and roll over. Let's do the plank and bear. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Your knees are not hitting the ground, right? They're hovering. Six, seven, eight, nine, Last one, 10. Great work. Lunge jumps. Nice deep breath. Get ready. Get set. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Round three is complete. One more round done. One more round closer to being finished and be able to cool down. One more round to be able to really celebrate and feel super duper proud of yourself. So hang in there. Like I said, the light is at the end of the tunnel. We're so close to the end. Let's get ready. Get set up for those crab sit-ups. Pull your belly button in. Let's go. One. Two. Three. We're controlling it on the way down. Slow on the way down. Four. Five. As you extend those arms overhead, keep your lower back pressed into the mat. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more here. Nine. And 10. Good work. Okay, roll it on over. Here we go. From plank to bear. Adds in. Arms or shoulders tracking right over the wrist there. Pull that belly button in. Stay really strong here. Pop it in for one, two, three, four, five. Keep those hips low. Don't let them pop up. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Lunge jumps, y'all. Get up there. Left foot in front for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, round four is done. Ah, 
sip your water, move around in your space, catch your breath, get ready to go for those crab sit-ups. I want you to think about finishing just as strong as you started. And guess what? This is the last set. Best set. All right. Let's get ready to go. Lay down. Think about a quick little vacuum of the belly. Press your belly button down and in. Here we go. One. You got this, guys. Come on. Two. Three. Good. Give me your best effort. Four. Five. Five more. Come on, five. Four. Three. Two. And one. <laughs> Yay, we're all done with those. Go ahead and roll over. Let's get ready for that plank to bear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice work. Last exercise here. Come on. Just ten more lunge jumps, then we're done. Let's go. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Yay, we made it. That was the last one. Set five or round five of that final circuit. We're going to start to cool down here. I want you moving around in your space. Get your mat out of the way. Sip your water. We want to walk around nice and easy and begin to let that heart rate drop right before we do some stretches. I want you to already start to congratulate and thank yourself to be really appreciative of your body and what you just accomplished, okay? Because <laughs> that was a challenge and you did it. So go ahead and find a wall or the back of your couch for balance. We're going to do that standing runner stretch or standing quad opener. Stand up nice and tall, chest open, abs in, shoulders back. Bend your knee, pull your heel towards your glute as you push your hips forward. If it doesn't bother you, you can feel free to grab the foot and you'll be able to increase the stretch. So you're actively tucking the tailbone under, pushing your hips forward and to, to increase the stretch and really feel the hip flexors and the quads open up there. But you're not pulling or yanking on the knee in any crazy way. You still kind of have knee next to knee while you do this. And we just want to hold it because it takes a couple seconds for your muscles to realize, oh, we want to be stretching to kind of relax into it. So we're not going to rush it. Just breathe. And let's switch. Same thing, other side. Good. Knee stay next to knee, actively pushing your hips forward to we elongate that quad. Now we did a lot of shoulders and chest with all those push-ups and planks, so we're gonna stretch them. You're gonna take that right hand, take the left hand, grab the wrist, and then you can drop your ear over. So while you're opening up that bottom shoulder, right, you're getting a nice stretch down your neck too. Just breathing, relaxing into it, enjoying that nice stretch. Bring your head up, grab the other hand so you have your chicken wing on the other side, drop that ear over. And again, you're feeling the front of the shoulder of that arm that you're tugging on. Just a couple of nice deep breaths here. Okay, let's get the chest some more. I want you to take your fists. 
and just press them into the small of your back as you arch your back. Push your belly button out, push your chest out, pull your elbows back and together as if you're trying to get them to touch. So you're getting a really nice chest expansion there. There you go. Push that chest forward. Arch your back there. <laughs> Doesn't that feel good? Okay, go ahead and have your feet cross one leg behind the other and then push your hips out. Feeling it in the hips there and down your IT band and then extend the arm over and feel it go down your lats and your obliques, that nice stretch. Nice and easy. Think how long can you make your arm as you reach over. Come to the center, feet hip width apart, hinge forward. So if you're gonna round your back, you're gonna get more of the back. If you have a flatter back, you're gonna feel more of the hamstrings, right? And then this time you can kind of go between the two. Like right now, I just went to that rounded back. Still hitting the hamstrings, but feeling that stretch in the lower back really nicely there too. If you feel like your hamstrings are a little bit tighter and you wanna have a flat back and get those more, you can. Nice. Come on up. Let's cross the other leg behind. Sit the hips over, reach, extend that arm over. Nice, just breathe into it. Think of how long you can make your body from your fingertips all the way down to your hip. Extend it, lengthen it, stretch it. Bring it up nice and easy and give me one last big inhale. And exhale. And give me those virtual high fives, everyone. Congratulations again for finishing this workout with me. Tomorrow we have legs and booty again. I hope you're excited for that and you're staying consistent with our five goals. We are getting 15 minutes of uplifting reading or media. You're going to bed every night and trying to get your at least six to eight hours of quality sleep so you can wake up in the morning, five minutes early to make your bed, 10 slow deep breaths and repeat in your head your positive affirmation, right? Start your morning off right. Of course, we're trying to get 60 minutes of planned activity or 10,000 steps. And of course, we're still trying to eat at least two fruits and veggies a day, right? Those are our habits we're working on. They're gonna make such a big difference. And we are going to start 2021 off on our right foot. So no matter when or where we meet again, I want you to always remember, no excuses, no regret, just sweat. Bye, everyone!